Stay tuned for Crazy Legs Crane next as he teaches the finer points of dragonfly catching, not realizing that he's dealing with a fire-breathing dragonfly. Honey, where are you going with a salt shaker? I'm hunting for dragonflies, Father. I'm going to put salt on their tails so I can catch them. Why, son, that's not the way to catch dragonflies. Birds, maybe, but not dragonflies. Oh, we're going to catch a dragonfly, me, my son, and I. And when we catch a dragonfly, we're going to make a pie. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm going to Louisiana. Louisiana? Why am I going to Louisiana? You're not, Dad. You're going to show me how to catch a dragonfly. And sugar words were never spoken. Viola, if it isn't a dragonfly sitting on a lily pad down there, we're going to sneak up on him, which calls for the strictest silence. I'm so proud of my father. Such coordination and sheer poetry of motion. <laughs> How would you like that, son? <laughs> A perfect three-point landing. But, Father, I only counted two points. Where's the third one? I'm keeping it under my hat. You watch your father, and I'll give you a crash course on dragonfly catching. Oh, good morning. Very good outside weather we are having. There was one of them that just passed. You just keep your eyes on your old dad, and I'll give you lesson number uno. Call it the direct approach. I went to sleep the other night. Do da, do da. Going to sleep all night, going to sleep all day. I bet my money in a bobtailed neck. With a banjo on my knee. Hey, we make beautiful music together. Allow me to introduce myself, C.L. Crane, Esquire. And I am a dragonfly. A dragonfly, eh? Yes, I come from a long line of dragons. I hope you're prepared to substantiate that. Here are my credentials. Well, what do you know? A fire-breathing dragonfly. <laughs> Another way to catch dragonflies is with a piece of string. Oh, Father, I'm learning so much. All you do is tie a knot to one end and make a lasso out of it. Then, when the quarry least expects it, you lasso him. Oh, nothing makes me so mad as getting lassoed. I think I've discovered a new water sport. Don't know whether to call it water dragonfly or dragonfly skiing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't stand height. <laughs> Just let go of the string, Father. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What a relief. Why a person could fall. <laughs> I was, uh, just testing you to see if you were paying attention. I wonder if he bought that. What is it, Father? Can't you tell? It's a girl dragonfly. I figure he'll fall in love with her and be lured into captivity. I build it out of bits and pieces of string and stuff. But, Father, a dragonfly isn't that dumb. He'll never fall for it. Boy, is he wrong there. I would too fall for her. I think she's very good looking and pretty. I'll just drop her in this cage and let nature take its course. When he goes into the cage, the door drops down and I got him. Now 
more to get his attention with my dragonfly collar. Oh, she, she's calling to me in the language of love. I will turn the call right back. I tell you what that means, but it's censored. <laughs> now I got to go. What do you know? Now I'm a prisoner of love. I just get here and she walks out on me. Oh, well. She's better to have lost and loved than never to have laughed at all. Who's laughing? I just found a great recipe for dragonfly pie. Dragonfly, you are about to be immortalized in pastry. How does that grab you? I'd much rather have the pastry inside of me instead of all around on my outside. The recipe calls for lots of pepper. Hey, no, don't do that. Hey! <laughs> from the kitchen. Don't go away because the